Um, <clears throat> I had to make this video um, just to really get it into my thick skull a little better. Um, I uh, I think I'm doing way better than I think I am. And I realized this uh, today. Um, you know, I've been seeing this a professional, you know, another professional <laughs> um, throughout the last year, maybe. And she's no, she's noticed my improvements, you know. And uh, she totally sees me differently than I see me. And it hit me. Um, that might go for a lot of people. <laughs> you know, a lot of people see me. A lot of people. A lot of people see me better than I see me. Like no bullshit. <laughs> like other people see me way better than I see me. <laughs> and, and that really hit me. I'm like, I probably see myself the worst. I mean, out of anybody, I see myself as the lowest, you know, and it hit, it really hit me, like, <laughs> um, and she made me realize something else, like, she's like, and I always hear this line, <laughs> it, all that stuff you went through made you who you are today, you know, I, I've heard that line so many times. Um, I don't like that line. Um, I don't think anything I went through was funny. <laughs> so, um, and God knows that. Um, so, <laughs> she made me realize, like, would you rather been, would you rather be who you are now that went through all this stuff and re refined through the fire, basically? Um, or some Joe Schmo that didn't go through anything. And it hit me. <clears throat> you know, it did hit me. I'm like, I'd rather be me and, you know, what I went through, you know, than just some Joe Schmo that didn't go through anything, you know. Totally un unscathed <laughs> in life, you know. So I'm like, and I guess that's what I wanted. I wanted to go through life, you know, without any abuse, nothing, you know. I wanted that, you know, <laughs> or I wanted to like make it make me feel like it right now that I went through nothing, you know. Like somehow I could make make it me <laughs> right now, f make me. Feel like I went through nothing traumatic, you know, and I guess that's what I w w was wanting. <laughs> you know, I wanted to feel like a regular guy, you know, that went through nothing, <laughs> you know. But I guess you know, and a friend had texted me something, you know, probably no accident, you know. The struggle is what builds character, you know. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> and I respect her a lot, you know. So I listen to what she says. God knows I listen to her, you know. I don't trust a lot of people in real life, but I do trust this person, you know. So, which is rare for me. So, and God knows how rare that is, that I trust a human person. On the ground, I trust somebody, you know. Like, almost more than I trust God, you know. Which isn't saying much, but because I mean I don't trust God fully, and He knows that. But now I don't. I admit that I don't. Even even if though He's proven Himself, you know God has proven Himself for a long time now, uh, years and years and years. Maybe about 10 years, God has proven himself over and over and over. Um, but, um, I 
kind of hit me. It did hit me like. Um, I'm doing better than I think I am. <laughs> like it hit me today harder than before, you know. Like, I don't think I'm doing that great. And then I see somebody and they're like, you're doing really well. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, it's confusing. <laughs> you know, I think I'm doing terrible. And then, like, I see a professional and they're like, you're doing great. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> it literally is like that, <laughs> you know. So w whatever I'm whatever I'm fighting, the, the demons I'm fighting when I'm on my own, they're convincing me I'm not doing that great. They really are. They're convincing me of that. I think that's what's going on when I'm doing a lot better than I, I, I think I am. So, and you know how I said, like, uh, the opposition has increased since I've been going to Christian churches and, like, following God. The opposition is, like, pulling out all, all the stops <laughs> they really are you know and it's been hard <laughs> it's been tough you know and i admit that and i've kind of been caving <laughs> you know you know so because i don't i don't really fully trust god totally so i'm like caving in you know <laughs> caving in my mind you know But she gave me these positive affirmations to read, you know. So I'm going to start reading the positive affirmations every day. And, um, I haven't read positive affirmations in a while. So these ones are pretty unique, it seems like. They're, they're pretty interesting affirmations, so <laughs> um, for sure. God also put me, put another person in my path to talk to today because he knew I, I really wanted to talk to somebody, you know, just to get out of my head. <laughs> um, so that's what he did. You know, a person I knew from the past, you know, back in the day, I ran into her again today, no accident. <laughs> and we talked for a while, you know, and uh, it helped, you know, it does help to talk to people in real life, you know. Not just talk to a camera, you know. Even though I talk to you guys, but it, it's kind of different than talking to somebody in real life, you know. It is, you know. Uh, real life is more impactful, <laughs> for sure. So, um, but, anyways. So, yeah, I think I'm. I am doing better than I think I am. I don't think I was being lied to today. It totally caught me off guard, you know. Uh, but I am. She made me realize I am handling all the things I can the best I know. The best I know how to, you know. Uh, despite despite all I've gone through, you know, I'm trying to handle things as best I can, you know. You know keep up with everything, you know, uh, it's true, I'm doing my best, <laughs> uh, God knows it, <laughs> so, um, but anyways, um, but yeah, but it kind of hit me, like, like, I'm really drawn to the underdog stories for a reason, I think. Like, the people that have had hard goes, like in the movies, you know. They make a comeback, like I'm watch, about to watch Cinderella Man, and it made me think, you know, he went through the depression, and he came back on top, you know. A real story of Cinderella Man, you know. Um, he, re he really made a real comeback, you know. If you don't know that, if you don't know that story of that boxer, you know, so I'm like, I, I watch those kind of things that people have gone through hard things and made a comeback and rose to the top, you know, to, to motivate me, you know, like, all right, 
regroup and keep going, you know, <laughs> type stuff, you know, to motivate me. Because, like, I'm on my own all the time. I have to, I have to figure out how to motivate myself somehow, you know, through movies, music, you know. Sometimes people out on the outside cheer me on, but for the most part, it's I have to figure out ways to motivate me, <laughs> you know. And those kind of movies do that for me, you know. The ones that the underdog story movies, you know, that tough life, <laughs> fought through the the depression, but then became the most successful boxer, you know, champion, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> to motivate me. So, um, so, but anyways, and plus, I was watching the movie Harriet, like the uh, Harriet Tubman. I was always curious about that movie, so I rented it. Uh, yesterday <laughs> and there were some key lines that stuck out and God knows these lines stick out you know for no for reasons <laughs> um, uh, one of the lines she said was um, why did you lead me this far she's talking to, to God the, the Lord why did you lead me this far just to throw mud in my face, you know, why am I still alive, <laughs> why did you let me live, I've said that, <laughs> you know, God knows I have, I'm like, why'd you lead me this far, for nothing, <laughs> you know, I, you know, but that's pretty, pretty much lately, I've been saying that, why'd you lead me this far, for pretty much nothing, I'm a loner, <laughs> you know, there's nothing here, you know, uh, middle, of the, middle of the wilderness, you know, <laughs> seems like there's nothing here, you know, So I know I know that line stuck out for a reason, because <laughs> like like that's that's how I felt like like Harriet Tubman felt. <laughs> like why am I alive? <laughs> why did you let me live? <laughs> you know why did you lead me this far to just for nothing basically? <laughs> um, so and another thing she said that was interesting. Probably no accident I caught this either. Um, she's like, it, it kind of hit me. Um, she basically said, I went through all this shit, dude. You know, um, God watched it, but I it was my feet that went through all this shit. And that hit me. <laughs> that really hit me. It was, she was like, it was me that was bleeding and sweating, you know, going through the suffering, you know. God may have watched it, but I, it was my feet that was going through it, you know. And that's true in my case. God knows it. <laughs> Even though I do think Jesus walked this road too, I do think that. But at the same time, it's still my feet, <laughs> you know, that's walking it physically, you know. That's been walking this whole time, you know, this long ass road, <laughs> basically. Um, and it has been a long road, <laughs> very long road. God knows it. I'm like, where's the pinnacle of this road? Where's the top? <laughs> you know, so I can just look to the sky and celebrate, you know, where's the top of this road? How close are we to the top? <laughs> you know, basically. That's what I'm saying. To the to the light. <laughs> to the sunshine, you know. That's basically what I've been saying. Because God, God's been leading me up. For a while. Like upward. In many ways. Like up, up, up. Because he knows I've been to the low. of Really low. <laughs> you know. Like I said, not as low as Jesus, but I've been low. So he's been he's been lifting me up, 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 up for a while, you know. So and I keep forgetting that he's doing that, you know. Um, and that's probably why people say, "Oh, you're doing great," because God's doing that without me knowing it, <laughs> lifting me up, 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 you know. <laughs> Basically, um, and I, I always forget that he's doing that. You know, 
the, the, the ascension type thing, you know. Make me lighter, basically. I always forget he's doing that. And he knows I forget that he's doing that. You know, I don't take, I don't, I don't think much of that. I'm like, I'm in pain, get me out of pain. I don't care about the ascension. I'm serious. <laughs> he knows I'm like that. I'm in pain, get me out of pain. I don't care about the ascension and stuff, you know. You know, make me brighter. I don't care about that. <laughs> but maybe one day I'll care about that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be this bright person, you know. This bright star that just uh, all the all the darkness out there is like ah. I'll be that bright that they're just ah. They can't tolerate my brightness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty tight. <laughs> you know, the other way around. Instead of me recoiling from them, they're recoiling from me. Hell yeah. God knows that'd be awesome. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they already recoil from from Jesus. They do. The opposition does. They recoil. So if, I, if they can do that for me, that'd be pretty, that'd be nice. You know. So that's what I think. You know, because I've always wanted them to be scared of me. Always. God knows that I wanted them to be scared of me. Like, you know, when they call me crazy, I actually wanted them to be believe it. <laughs> They never believed it because they they still hung around me. I want them to believe it and run from me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get addled. They see me, they run. You know, that's what I want. <laughs> you know, but, but anyway. But being bright is good enough, I think. Just like, ah, too bright. <laughs> you know. Can't beat them any other way, I guess. But being bright, <laughs> super bright, you know, you know, like Jesus bright, <laughs> second coming bright, <laughs> you know. Not to say I'll be that bright, which I won't, but it's kind of bright, <laughs> decently bright, to make them recoil, you know. It's a dream, I guess. Uh, God knows I've seen a lot of the dark. <laughs> you know, I've been in a, a lot of the dark of this world. And it'd be nice for them to recoil and be afraid of my light. <laughs> in the opposite direction, you know what I'm saying? I've also learned that it's hard to be to try to be one of the good guys. <laughs> you know, it is. It's hard to be try to be one of the good guys, and that's that's kind of why I always revert to being like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm the bad guy. <laughs> you know, because it's easier. It's way easier to be like, okay, I'm I'm getting all this heat. You know, okay, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? God knows I do that. I'm like, okay, it's not even worth it. You know, to try to be a good guy. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. You know. But God knows I'm still kind of a good guy, despite that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I, I think there's good and bad in me, <laughs> like both. You know, like I am kind of the anti-hero kind of person. You know, the underdog. You know, the bad guy that 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 becomes the good guy. You know what I mean? That no one expects becomes the good guy. That's kind of how I am. <laughs> That my road is, you know, the one that everybody th thought was bad <laughs> becomes good somehow, <laughs> tries to be one of the good guys <laughs> against all odds, you know, against everybody saying he's bad, <laughs> became good or something, you know, became one of the good guys and shocked everybody, you know. But yeah, God knows I do that. I get a lot of heat, a lot of heat, a lot of cut downs. You know, if you have a YouTube, you're going to get a lot of cut downs and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I guess, yeah, I'm one of the bad guys, you know. Like, I, I agree with some people. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, I don't care. 
you know, but at the same time, I'm trying to follow God <laughs> in real life, you know, and he knows that I'm like, despite what anybody says, I'm still trying to follow God, <laughs> you know, go, go the right way. <laughs> so, so if I say I'm a bad guy, it may not be true. Like I'm actually trying to go a different road, <laughs> you know, a good road. I, trying God knows it <laughs> you know God's like holy shit he's actually trying to to, to walk a, the good road I'm like yeah I'm trying you know <laughs> show me something you know show me that neural path or something you know <laughs> show me something else than this planet you know show me show me something else than this world has to offer <laughs> you know I think that's what he's been doing so, show him something better you know you know, Jesus found something better. Seems like he believes there's something better. Show me. Show me what Jesus found. You know, that's so much better. That's what I want. Whatever Jesus found, you know, on his way to the Father, you know, or something. You know what I mean? Whatever he found, that's what I want to find. <laughs> you know, basically. It's above all treasures of this world. I know it is. You know, whatever Jesus found. <laughs> And I feel like I hit something right on the, the nail on that, saying that. I really feel like I hit the nail on the head. You know, whatever Jesus found, you know, after his crucifixion, basically, whatever he found after that, that's what I want to find. You know, because I know he still exists. So he found something, you know, after his crucifixion, you know, on his way to the Father or something, you know, better, better life better existence, you know, that's, that's what I want, you know, because he knows that I'm like, anything's better than this world, <laughs> anything is better than this planet, you know, <laughs> you know, start my ascension, you know, get me out of here, <laughs> metaphorically, get me out of here, but physically I'll still be here, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because, My situation won't be like Enoch, you know. God ain't going to take me that way. No, sir. And I just feel it. I feel it right now. He ain't going to take me that way. Like an Enoch, you know. Transport me to heaven, you know. No dying. He ain't going to do that for me. I, I feel it. So I'm like, man. Can't hope for that, you know. Can't hope for that, you know. die then find a life a different way on a narrow path you know that's how I see it you know just like okay show me something better you know without dying you know <laughs> mm. and I think that's what God's been doing he's been showing me something better better road better path you know that I haven't really seen before and I said this today my like, God sees a path that I can't see it's true he can see a path that I cannot see at all, you know. Um, and that, that's why he, that's why he doesn't think it's over when I do. He sees a path that I can't see. You know what I mean? Somehow he sees a path that I can't see. You know, so. But yeah, um, another thing from the, I know I'm jumping around a lot, <laughs> you know, that's how my mind works sometimes when I'm making videos, my mind jumps around. Um, from the Harriet movie, um, she said, God didn't make people to own other people. And that hit me because I felt owned 
by people my whole my whole life. God knows that I felt owned, enslaved, controlled, you name it. And I, and I know a lot of you have too. You know, especially if your parents were narcissists. Um, so you know how that goes: feeling oppressed, feeling controlled, feeling submissive, subservient. You know, like yes, master. <laughs> you know. Um, so that I think God wanted me to hear that line. I, that's not what God wanted ever was for uh, uh, another human to control another human. He didn't want that. And it made me, it made me rethink. I'm like, okay, why do I feel like I should be controlled then? <laughs> because they, they made me think that I'm supposed to be controlled, you know. But God didn't. Done, God didn't want people to own other people. I'm like, all right, so I shouldn't feel owned by other people, you know. Why should I allow myself to feel owned by other people like I have been my, in my life? Because it's what I'm used to. <laughs> I feel safer or something if I feel owned, <laughs> you know, like I'm a possession of some kind, you know. But I don't know. So it made me think, I'm like, that's right, you know. That's not what God intended. He didn't want people to own other people. He didn't. So I'm like, all right. But even though that's what this planet kind of teaches, like, oh, you got to be subservient to something. You got to be subservient to something. Subservient to someone, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what, kind of why I think Jesus wants me to see, see him as see, wants me to see him as a friend. You know, he doesn't want me to be some bitch boy to him. You know, some slave. You know what I'm saying? He knows I've done that already. <laughs> you know, he knows that. <laughs> so, but helping a friend out, I can do that. You know, he helps. He's helped me out like a friend would. So. I help him like a friend would, like, you know, you get a lot more done, that's what I'll say, you get a lot more done, and I think God knows this, I think Jesus knows this, you get a lot more done if you're both reciprocal, you know what I'm saying, reciprocal friends, <laughs> you, you help him, he helps you, you help him, he helps you, you know, and that's kind of how this has gone, he, God knows, it. you know, he's helped me, I've been helping him, he's helped me, I've been helping him, you know, whether I'm helping them on videos, helping them in real life, you know, in some way. So he's keeping me alive, <laughs> helping me, I help him, you know. So, and that's how you get shit done, you know. You know what I'm saying, in my opinion. Rather rather than owner slave, <laughs> you know, you, you, don't, you don't get a lot of shit done, really, you know. In my opinion, not not as effective as two friends working together. You know what I'm saying? Continually, rather than a, sl a slave owner with a whip. You know what I'm saying? Basically, just some slave owner with a whip. You get a lot more done when it's two uh, friends working together. In my opinion, like two workhorses. That's what I'll say. Like two workhorses, like <laughs> yoked together. You know, <laughs> bring up the yoke together. <laughs> You know, cause, you know, yoke it, yoke to the big ox. You know, working together. You know, um, <laughs> cause he is a he is a work workhorse. You know, Jesus is a workhorse, <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> no doubt about it. You know, you you think I you think I'm a workaholic? You know, Jesus is a workaholic <laughs> in a way. <laughs> You know, never slumbers, you know, never, you know, like, you know, when I don't think he exists or is, a, is a, you know, he reminds me that he exists. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, he's still alive and still going, you know, Jesus is, I'm like, okay, there's still hope, he's still alive, you know, <laughs> you know, they didn't take him out, you know, they didn't take Jesus out, <laughs> you know. 
He's still going right now. Right now, he's still going. Jesus is. No bullshit. Felt him the other day. You know, felt his love. He's still going right now. Not, not 2,000 years ago. He's still going at this moment. Jesus is. No bullshit. Still going. That's crazy. He's still going. 2,000 years after the crucifixion, he's still going. Death wasn't the end for him. It was true. It wasn't the end. He's still going. In some ways, I kind of feel like like death wasn't the end for me. <laughs> like, I felt like, you know, I died, but I kept going, you know, past that point. Because that did happen. And God knows it. That's when, that's when God took over, is when I died, you know. Um, but I came back, <laughs> you know. That's when God took over, you know, like, I, I, pretty much. Like, I gave up my life, you know, like God took over. That's what happened. He knows it. <laughs> so. uh, but anyways. Um, yeah. Good things happening in the future, it seems like. Feels like, you know, good things. So it seems like, you know, feels more hopeful, you know. Somehow. I don't know how it feels hopeful right now. <laughs> the most unhopeful person is feeling hopeful myself, you know. It has to be God. <laughs> Make me feel hopeful. <laughs> but that is hopeful, you know, like in a world like this, Jesus still exists. <laughs> Jesus still exists in a world like this. So it, it, there is actually hope. <laughs> he's still going. You know, he's still paying attention. He's still uh, mindful of me, you. <laughs> he is right now. It's no bullshit. <laughs> uh, so. So yeah, it, it makes me think all the time, like, maybe God was talking to me <laughs> through that person, you know, telling me I'm doing better. But maybe it's true, you know, maybe I am doing better than I think I am, you know. So I'm like, maybe it's true, you know. It's hard to know, like, I'm, I'm alone quite a bit, you know, so it's hard to know. It really is. It's hard to know if I'm doing good or not. 100% it's hard to gauge it I don't know <laughs> you know that's why I think I'm doing bad because I don't know so I, I assume I'm doing bad <laughs> you know so but anyways but he knows I'm getting distracted you know <laughs> mainly with the women you know <laughs> I haven't over I haven't overcome this. <laughs> and I admit this. I'm like, God, I know you put these women in my life. I know you did that. Um, and I'm grateful for that. But now <laughs> it's hard to, you know, not get distracted. <laughs> you know. I'm I'm literally like that. I'm like, it's hard to get not get distracted, you know, because it distracts me uh, from doing what I feel God wants me to do, you know. <laughs> you know doesn't want me to get too distracted with women, basically, you know. But anyways. Uh, enough about that. Yeah. 
think things may be more hopeful than I first assumed, you know, maybe, you know, maybe more hopeful. Maybe. Hope so. Um, he knows I'm still going, <laughs> you know, still trying. Don't know, don't know how this will work out, <laughs> but I'm still going, you know. So, I'm like, I'm like, is there some honor <laughs> in going when there is no, when you don't think there's hope, <laughs> you know? Maybe, you know. Cause I don't feel like I've, there's any reward for it, you know. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But maybe God sees things differently. He sees a reward of some kind in the eternities, you know. <laughs> if I keep walking this road, <laughs> I'm trying to. Try not to get too overwhelmed and too distracted. Lately, I'm trying to I'm trying my best to not to stay in the present. It's been tough. God knows I've been struggling to stay in the, the now. Because um, I keep getting distracted, you know, by this, by this, by this, by this. <laughs> you know, it's been hard. It's been discombobulating. Um, it really has. I guess that's all I want to say for this video. Um, yeah, that that refiner's fire thing got brought up twice today. You know, I think God wanted me to hear that, <laughs> like twice. You know, that He wanted to, to make me in, from the refiner's fire, basically. Even though he knows I wanted the the easy life, he knows I wanted that <laughs> from day one. I wanted the easy life, easy street. <laughs> he knows I wanted that, you know. <laughs> so, like if I had easy street, I, you know, I'd be married right now and <laughs> have kids and be happy, you know. <laughs> if I had easy street, you know, he knows I think that way, you know. Since I didn't have Easy Street, I have nothing. <laughs> I'm a loner and in pain. <laughs> but, you know, I got friends, I think, you know, that care about me. I'm starting to care about them. So. Um, feels real, you know. I, I think I really do care. So, which is scary for me to actually care about somebody. And mean it, <laughs> you know. That's big for me. God knows that, <laughs> you know. To care about somebody for real in real life, <laughs> like really care about them for real, you know. That's big for me. God knows it, <laughs> cause He knows I don't do that. <laughs> I pretend to care about stuff when I don't, <laughs> you know, uh, but anyways, but yeah, he knows I do care about people on the planet, <laughs> I even care about some of you guys, the, the hardcore, the ones that have been through shit, you know, that I know uh, have been through similar shit as me out there. <laughs> 
on YouTube that watch me. I care about that, you guys. <laughs> the ones that have, been, that have walked a road similar to mine. Scapegoated to the ground. <laughs> had to separate from family. You know, orphaned, basically. <laughs> you know, Jesus took over. You know, uh, basically, those people. <laughs> I care about you guys. <laughs> basically, you know. And that's what I realized. I'm like, that's kind of one of what I'm, why I keep doing videos. It's like I, I care about some of you guys that have been through the same shit as me. You know, similar shit. You know, from day one on the, you know, like you you were scapegoated basically your whole life, <laughs> um, and uh, Jesus found you or you found Jesus. Either way. Um, I care about that situation, you know, so in my case, <laughs> Jesus kind of found me, I didn't really believe in him, you know, uh, he knows that I, I, I didn't believe in him at all when he came for me, I'm like, I, I don't even know what's happening right now, like, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, there's no God, what's happening right now? I thought that's how I was. I'm like, there's no God. What's going on? Who's helping me right now? That's how I was. Because yeah. I was dead certain that there was no God. I was so certain of that. I'm like, there's no way there's a God, you know? Yeah. If he is, he's a piece of crap, you know? That's what I thought most of my life, you know? I'm like, for, for watching all that shit happen to me, do nothing. I'm like, there's no way there's God. I was so certain. I was dead certain there was no God. And God knows that. I was so certain. There couldn't be a God. <laughs> you know? You know, but at the, at the same time, I was like trying to... I don't know, it's confusing. <laughs> I wanted to take God down. <laughs> you know, I was mad at God, but... At, at a point, I said, there can't be a God, you know, so I was doing both in life, just like, if that makes sense, <laughs> I'm like, mad at God, and then I'm like, yeah, there's probably no God in the end, <laughs> you know, I eventually said that, <laughs> so. but anyways, I'm just rambling nonsense, <laughs> as always, but feel like I need to talk because today was pretty stressful. Um, I feel like I've been, it's been hard for me to keep up with stuff, you know. And God knows that I'm doing my best. It's been hard. It's been uh, difficult. So, just gotta remember to keep up myself first. care if that's selfish. <laughs> I have to. Or, uh, you know, God wants me to anyways, you know. If I am to keep going, I have to put myself first. And then I can help others. Um, after that, basically. So that's kinda what I've been trying to do. Just regroup, refocus, you know. Keep putting myself first. Try to keep loving myself, basically. Um, one of the affirmations I got was um, that I thought was interesting was um, I am in love with myself and my body. I thought that affirmation was pretty interesting because God knows that I don't really love myself or my body. He knows that about me. He knows that very well. <laughs> I don't, I don't even care. It takes effort to keep thinking about taking care of myself and my body. It takes effort. It really does. He knows it takes effort for me to think about that kind of thing. You know, it does. So it's new, you know. So I think he really wanted me to have that affirmation.
Sitzung aussehen.